Hello and welcome to Optics Trades YouTube channel. I have a pair of interesting binoculars here in front of me today that I'm about to review. The Tsai's Victory 8x32 FL. Tsai boasts a rich tradition in the field of optics. The company was established in 1846 and they presented their first prototype of binoculars at the end of the 19th century. They came up with many innovations in the field of optics throughout the years and from 1950 to 1989 Size introduced some upgrades to their binoculars, <clears throat> but it was in 1990 that they made their first major step towards the modern era of optics. This was when they introduced the 20x60S, which were the first binoculars with mechanical image stabilization. They introduced the Victory binoculars 10 years after and started equipping them with fluoride glass 4 years after that, naming them Victory FL, and this is how this, this series came to be. When they introduced fluoride glass <clears throat> in binoculars, they rocked the optics industry. Swarovski, for example, didn't have binoculars that could compete with uh, Victory FL in terms of optics at that time. Swarovski and Zeiss have always been rivals, but we could say that with Victory FL, the battle of who can manufacture better binoculars really started. Swarovski introduced the EL model in 2007 and since then both companies have made constant updates to their binoculars to achieve perfection. And in the last 20 years the evolution in the field of binoculars has really been rapid. These binoculars uh, most notable feature is as I said the use of fluoride glass with which size indicates with the use of letters FL which can also be seen here in the housing. <clears throat> the main function of this glass is to remove, eliminate chromatic aberration, which in turn improves image clarity. When observing, you are able to see the most subtle details, making these binoculars extremely popular among bird watchers. This type of glass really takes the clarity of the image to a whole new level. And there are reviews on the, of these binoculars all over the web, and many websites still list, list these as one of the best binoculars in terms of optical quality. In 2012, Zeiss launched Victory HD and it is an undisputable fact that HD, which is still in production, has a better light transmission rate than Victory FL. After all, uh, it uses the Abakunic prisms. But many argued that the FL was superior in terms of optical quality when compared to HD and it was with the release of Victory SF a few years ago that the optical quality of FL was finally bested. Now if we take a look at the model range, uh, at the moment only the 8x32, so this model, and the 10x32 models remain in production. The 7x42, 8x42, 10x42, 8x56 and 10x56 are all discontinued. The 56mm objective lens models were basically replaced, so discontinued, as soon as the Victory HD series was released and the 42mm objective lens models went out of production when the Victory SF was launched. And we believe that these are also going to be removed from production when Zeiss adds compact binoculars to any of the existing series. Most likely that is going to be Victory SF, or maybe not, but we believe that it might happen very soon, so this might be your last chance to get a new pair of these. The weight of these is fifth, uh, 560 grams and the length with the extracted eye cup is 117 millimeters, while the maximum width is 129 millimeters. They are quite shorter than their competitor Swarovski EL 8x32 and similar in length to Leica Ultravid 8x32 uh, HD+. Even though that they have been on the market for quite a while, they are still one of the most advanced compact binoculars in the terms of optical quality. They are made in Germany, you can see that here, and feature multiple eye cup positions for, a, for setting the desired eye relief, four positions altogether. The eye cups are designed so that you can comfortably press them against your eyes and they, once fixed, they hold the position really well. 
Um, the compact design makes these a great choice for hiking, traveling, bird watching, uh, as I already mentioned, but it is also great for observing small animals such as butterflies, thanks to the ultimate sharpness that it provides. Um, the 32mm objective lens binoculars uh, can easily be stored in a backpack and these are of course no exception, they are perhaps even shorter than most of its competition. And they also prove to be a great companion even for longer hikes thanks to their uh, light, uh, thanks to their low uh, light weight. The exterior is rubberized for protection. Um, they are not made from aluminum nor magnesium but from uh, polycarbonate so this is a type of plastic and this material is durable and known to resist both high and low temperatures but uh, nevertheless some argue that a magnesium chassis would suit these premium binoculars better. The focusing knob can easily be accessed because of its size it can be handled with two fingers and uh, this uneven surface ensures a good grip the knob is not too stiff nor too fast to move and thus provides an, I would say, an ideal balance of precision and speed. Um, many complain over the focuser being plasticky and unsuitable for a binocular in this price class and also it tends to get scratched quite easily. The design is really simple and we could say it's a little bit outdated. Uh, the lines ensure a firm grip when you hold them in your hands. Uh, they're all in black as is typical for its size binoculars. The bridge is of the single hinge type and there is a conspicuous size logo on the right side of it. The diopter adjustment mechanism is located on the focusing knob and you have to pull the knob out like so to make adjustments. So when you set you can see if you use them that it has a click stop in the middle which makes it easier to locate the zero position and you simply press it back when you're done setting the diopter. The interpopillary distance is from 52 millimeters to 74 millimeters meaning that it can be comfortably used by most people. The field of view is 140 meters on 1000 meters which ranks it among the binoculars with the biggest field of view uh, of this type so in the class of um, compact binoculars with 8 times magnification it is filled with nitrogen to prevent prevent internal fogging at low temperatures and also waterproof these binoculars feature a special coating marked with T and a little star next to it so um, the main pur purpose of this multi-layer coating is to increase the light transmission rate but it also contributes to a high contrast image. I have to point out that these perform amazingly well in twilight uh, for a compact binocular and they can perhaps even compete against some um, I don't know 8x42 um, that are of, um, of a lower price class but really really well for a compact binocular even though compact binoculars are generally not made for use in twilight. Uh, another comp coating that size uses on Victory is the Lodotech coating. It is applied to the external parts of the lenses to prevent the accumulation of dust and dirt and on top of that it provides some protection against abrasion. This is quite a famous coating that was uh, introduced by size in 2006. The strap lugs are really really close to the eyepieces and this is something that many users like. When the strap is mounted on, it won't irritate the user's hand as much as if the strap lugs were located closer to the middle of the tube as it is the case with most binoculars on the market. Uh, size could place uh, this so close to the eyepieces because the diopter is on the focusing knob right here. Let's take a look at the scope of the delivery of size victory 8x32 FL. Well you get pretty basic ocular and objective covers made out of rubber really basic for such a premium binocular and also the storing case that comes with the binoculars um, could be of higher quality 
Um, since these are high-end binoculars, this is a bag that you would expect uh, to get with a 300 euro binocular. But still, so it has a size logo on, um, really, really basic, as I said. Then you get a neoprene strap for the binoculars and also a uh, strap for the bag. Then you also get a lens cloth, an instruction manual that is available in many languages. And uh, some warranty cards as well. They're right here. And also the explanation for of what is a the size famous load attack coating that you found on the external it is applied to the external parts of the lenses on these binoculars. So um, there is also a bunch of other accessories that you can buy after you purchase these. So the list is located right here, um, right here in the instruction manual. As you can see, uh, the Victory FL binoculars can be mounted on an adapter. You have a universal adapter right here. Let's move to the English page, just a second. So right here, so it's a uh, tripod fixture suitable for all binocular models. It's a unique universal tripod adapter. Um, it hugs the binoculars like this. Uh, for eight times magnification, mounting on a tripod isn't that common because the shaking of hands isn't as noticeable as when you have a 10 times magnification binocular or a binocular with greater magnification than that. But you can still get it if you wish to have a completely steady image when observing nature or if you wish to observe for longer periods of time. The price is around 1,800 euros. Uh, this makes it one of the most expensive compact binoculars on the market, but also of really, really high quality. And um, these are direct competitors of Swarovski EL 8x32 and uh, Leica Ultravit HD Plus binoculars. It's really difficult to say which one is better here. Now even uh, lately, even Blaser introduced a compact, compact binocular, I think it's 8x30, and it's also also uh, really competitive uh, compared against uh, size Victory FL. The warranty is 10 years, and uh, yeah, that basically brings us to the end of this review. Uh, let's point out some great things, so definitely outstanding optical quality, which includes and encompasses great edge-to-edge -edge sharpness, uh, high contra contrast images, no chromatic aberration, which in turn uh, improves the image quality uh, in general. Then we have great light transmission rate for a compact binocular. Um, really, really, um, I was um, definitely, <laughs> I could say, shocked when I used this, uh, when it uh, in the dusky environment, it performed really well uh, for a compact binocular. And then also the field of view is worth pointing out at 140 meters on 1000 meters. These are definitely among the <clears throat> compact binoculars with the biggest field of view out there. Um, what could have been done better? Well, definitely, I think that uh, the accessories don't do these binoculars justice. Uh, the case could be of higher quality. Um, made of leather perhaps or an imitation of leather and also these um, uh, ocular and objective covers are really really basic something that you get with I don't know 200 through 300 euro binoculars so this is definitely something that would uh, could have been done better also they're not the best looking on the market let's take a look at Leica Ultravit HD plus and you could say that they feature a much more elegant design. This is a little bit outdated um, because it's been on the market for a while, at least this series, so the Victory FL. Also, it comes in polycarbonate uh, housing instead of a magnesium one. And many argue that a magnesium chassis would be a better solution since these are, after all, high-end binoculars, uh, both in terms of price and optical quality. So these and the 10x32 model remain the only devices still in production from the Victory FL series. And even though they have been on the market for a while, they remain competitive in the terms of optical quality. 
if you are looking for high-end binoculars for bird watching, hiking, traveling, or something similar, then Victory FL 8x32 won't let you down. And neither will 10x32, so whichever magnification you prefer. These probably won't be in production for long, so if you want to get them, now is the great time. Thank you for watching this review. If you found it useful, um, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our other videos on size and other binoculars, and leave a comment if you have a question or something. See you next time. Bye.